I wrote the script. Uh, we adapted it from uh, from the book Just Mercy, and I wrote it with Andrew Lanham. And we definitely stepped into it with a big weight on our shoulders, a lot of self doubt as to whether we are the right people to to tell this story. What we had that was unusual was a partnership with Brian Stevenson from day one. I mean, having a, my first conversation with Brian and hearing how he connected with the work that I had done and what he thought I could bring to the story was the thing that made me feel like I could do it. You know, I actually find that if you don't take liberties in adapting something, you honestly are going to be further from the truth mm. because you're gonna have just a sloppy, you, you just can't fit something into two hours unless you're, you're piecing it together. We had Brian Stevenson who's an incredible storyteller. I mean, he is a lawyer, and but his gift is storytelling, and his gift is empathy. He does it in the courtroom, and that's all he does for his clients is he tries to, to allow a jury or a judge to understand a person in all of their layers. He starts with the stereotype, or he starts with the crime or the criminal, and then he starts pulling off the layers so you understand the full person. And by the end of that understanding, you just, it's so much more difficult to judge. And that's what he was able to do with us throughout, throughout the process. And he, he really helped us fill in those blanks. What liberties with the truth did you take in the script? We fortunately did not have to take many liberties. The liberties that we did take were just time. I, I mean, there's no scene that happened we didn't really create any scenes. We created the dialogue in the scenes. We didn't, didn't have to make up any events, but we did shift things around to happen uh, in the flow of what we wanted the script to be. You seem very calm. Do you, what, what most stresses you about working in film? The calmer I seem, the more stressed I am. <laughs> I actually get very anxious in every, any time I'm leading up to a project. It feels like I'm going to die, and I tell my wife, don't ever let me do this again. Um, I actually asked her how many times I've said that, and she said, before every movie that you've ever directed, I say that, and I'm so serious about it. But it is like how my wife describes childbirth. As soon as it's over and I'm, I've gone through the process with with such an amazing team and have built this family. It's the memory of it becomes so beautiful that I'm like, yeah, let's do this again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard to become a writer. What's the worst job you've ever had along the way? I shot wedding videos. That's how I paid the bills for a long time. That's a pretty time. clean car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't company. know. That sounds... Uh, <laughs> it was actually Did one anybody of, ever fire you from a wedding? Uh, no, it was one of the most rewarding, creative <laughs> jobs I've ever had. Um, I also worked at a group home for, for teenagers, which at the time I didn't realize was going to be the inspiration for my first feature. Oh. I worked there as a, as a counselor for, for two years. Was that difficult? It was extremely difficult, yeah. I, I didn't realize how sheltered I was as a child growing up in Hawaii until I was, I, I took that, that gig. It was, a, it was very eye-opening to kind of the, the ugliness in the world. Um, but simultaneously, it also opened my eyes to the beauty of, of humans and their ability to find life and laughter in the darkest places. In what way did it open your eyes to the ugliness? What, what, what particularly? I mean, you, you look at every, you're, you're on a floor with 20 kids and every single one of them are struggling because of the effects of some type of abuse or neglect from parents or lack of parents. And it was, um, yeah, it was, it was very, very eye-opening for, for dealing with that every single day. Yeah. Oh, hi there. Hi, I'm Casey Lemons. I'm Charles Randolph. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching the Hollywood Reporter Roundtable on YouTube. On YouTube.